What up Saddle Clubbers? I am back. I am sorry for the terrible delay. I had a few family and personal emergencies and I did not expect for them to come close together but for some reason they did. Um, however, I am back now and I am willing to <laughs> have this schedule. I will plan to film more throughout the week. Um, but yes, I'm terribly sorry for the delay. I know you all want them. I get your comments. I get your messages. I'm not dead, I promise. Um, I am alive. I just had a few um, personal and family issues that came together. Um, but let's not hesitate anymore. We're up to episode 8 of season 1. We won't hesitate anymore and we'll jump straight into it. Let's go. Good patch. Come on, patch. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so sometimes these are continuity errors, like those two voices, like once you film something, you go into the recording studio and sometimes you have to redo your script um, for those reasons. So sometimes when she said good girl, I feel like that was also when she was going to talk about Prancer. I do know this because um, it happens all the time, not just on horse shows, but like on all those shows you will watch. Um, sometimes the sound doesn't come up perfect, so you have to go back into the recording studio and redo your script so they can put that on top. So I feel like when she said, you know, go patch and then good girl, those two are two different, two different recordings is the word I'm looking for, um, that they just put together. Or maybe it was a mistake and she did say good girl. <laughs> I don't know, but patch is definitely a boy. Well, meant to be a boy. Now it's my team. As we find out later on, that's what the lone rider has to do, jump and then rear. So, very clever, Stevie. Look, uh, I'm a location scout. We're uh, making a film in the area. You might have heard of it, the uh, the lone rider. Not scum. The lone rider. Is that supposed to be like a little parody of the lone ranger? Rancy's movie. Yeah, see, tomorrow's the first day of shooting. Sky Rancy. Sky? Yes, yeah, Sky. Just from what she said, um, tomorrow's the first day of shooting. Well, our location fell through for the opening scene, and I'm looking for a new one, so uh, I'll have to take a look around, but Han Hollow seems perfect. My question is, and this is just based off personal experiences, being in that sort of industry, you don't go to three 11 year old girls asking them, is this a great place to film a location? You go straight to the manager. You don't go to these girls. They're not in charge. They're not the ones who are going to say, sure, film here. You can use this scene during this time. You you just can't do that. I know they've done it for effect, but it's so frustrating because they don't have any say if you can and can't film here. Just personal experience. Yeah. You've got to let them shoot the movie here, Max. It's only one scene. I'd have to close the stables during filming, I'd lose business. No, you wouldn't. You'd just have to close off one area. I'm sure you have more than one arena. I've been to many riding schools and riding adjacent places. There's more than one arena. You wouldn't have to close your business. Don't be ridiculous. I'm actually looking for Sky Ransom. You and every other female within a five mile radius? <laughs> well, actually, I'm here to interview him. Uh, Deborah Hale from the Daily News. Extraordinary. Nice mm. to meet you. Love at first sight. Uh, good luck with the interview. Thanks. Okay, So bear in mind, today is actually the first day of shooting, um, because they need to film the opening scene. Do you ride here? No, I'm Lisa's sister. <sighs> Don't talk to me. Oh my god, Melly's wearing those butterfly clips. Like, if you grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, you'll know all about those butterfly clips. Like, seriously, they were, you were not, like, you were not allowed outside the house unless you were wearing those butterfly clips. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Great, Great, she was perfect. I can't believe I got the part. Congratulations, Melanie. <laughs> I just love Veronica's face. Oh, that's the best. Going to love Great. I'll, I'll see, see you in rehearsal, rehearsal then. then. I thought today was indeed the first day of shooting. Has it been pushed back again? Are you trying to blow this? You promised me no jump. The, the, the director changed his mind. Stop whining. And also another thing in the acting world, um, you'll find that for legal reasons, the main star is not allowed to do stunts, and that includes jumping, cantering, rearing, falling, 
Um, so if this was a real movie, he would be given a stunt double because if he fell off and broke him a, a limb or a bone, the whole movie would have to be recast um, and re refilmed. So a good thing today is the first day of shooting. Um, but yeah, this isn't just for this would be for any movie. The uh, main characters would need to have stunt doubles and recurring characters um, for legal and insurance reasons. Veronica. Veronica, I. Uh... I spoke, I spoke with the director. director. No, no, it's only, only one line, line but, but it'll play in a scene with Sky Ransom. Really? I love how this is actually the real script. Like, if you look at your, your, uh, it, it goes, Really? Thank you. I'm sure you'll blow them away. Walking. <laughs> like, you know, they've just kind of blocked that bit out just because that's the real script for that episode. Thank you. I can work with this. I'm sure you'll blow them away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk about acting. I've never heard Veronica say that before. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch the rehearsals. It would be closed off for personal reasons. You wouldn't be allowed to watch. For a guy who's never jumped, like Roshimi, he's never jumped on a horse, um, that is quite a big fence. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Roshimi, he can horse ride, but he's never jumped a horse. Um, so that is quite a big jump for someone who's never jumped on a horse before. Looks pretty nervous. He's probably just in character. Like it's so tough because you, as a horse rider, I can tell when people can horse ride, and this guy can. Um, but yeah, it, like it's so annoying when you, you know they can horse ride, but they have to show that they are inexperienced, even just the slightest, and you can just see those little faults that they're trying to add. But horse riding is one of those skills, basically. I'm saying. Because once you know the skills, you'll never forget them. And obviously he's trying to like hold back a little bit and like try add little faults. And I see what he's trying to do, but it's just not working because I can tell he can really ride a horse. If you don't learn to jump and real soon, this job will be your last. <laughs> mm. Jumping isn't easy. Like I'm sure when you ride a horse, jumping isn't the first thing you learn. It's not even the second thing or the third thing. Um, you learn like balance and behavioural and all those sorts of things. Jumping isn't the first thing you learn. Um, so it's not nothing you learn overnight either. So it frustrates me how they treat him as if he will immediately learn how to jump. Because that's not the case. Um, you're not going to learn, to, especially that high as well. You're not going to learn to jump that quickly. You can learn to jump jump poles and maybe grade five. But you're um, not jump holes. Yeah, jump holes or things. Um, but you're not going to learn to jump that height. Um, you, you need to work your way up. So that's kind of ridiculous how they expect that so much. And if that was the case, they would have hired a professional horse rider. She is. Well, we, we get, get sent biographies from the publicity people from the picture. And the locations, like, like behind Holland here. People want some information about the stables and the, and the horses. Yes. Oh, Max, Max what a coincidence. But you told me to wait. Deborah was <laughs> asking for information but you told me to wait. <laughs> in the background of my home. Um, so why don't you show her around? So, uh, do you ride? Oh, no, no. I hate horses. <laughs> You could just pinpoint the moment where his heart sank. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Watch Stevie carefully. See how Stevie is setting him up? But they're much smaller than what he needs to jump. Yes. A horse can walk over those jumps. Oh, by the way, that's where I went to horse camp, where they filmed this little area. Yeah, that, that's where I went to horse camp. <coughs> You make a great shake. Doesn't everyone make a great milkshake? Like, you need two ingredients. Milk and chocolate flavouring. Like, it's not like a thick shake where you need, like, the ice cream and malt and all that. It's a milkshake. You need two ingredients. Milk and chocolate flavouring. <laughs> Doesn't everyone make a great milkshake? It's not that hard. 
I play one of the women that the Lone Rider saves. Uh -huh. He's like, I really couldn't give two shits. What are you doing? Catch the chase. I ransoms the Lone Rider. Uh, don't they usually hold auditions months before a big movie like this? Yes. How'd you get a part the day before? I guess I have that. How did he know it was the day before? Unless word travels fast. Tell them they can't cut my line! Do I know you? I didn't want to be in this stupid room anyway. Okay, sweetie, you tell yourself that. The low ride is coming this way. I can't look. Come on, look Now this would be his real life stunt double. Yeah, logistically this doesn't work. Just that timing, you just couldn't switch. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> Wouldn't it be so awkward if they said, right, I need to film another angle now? <laughs> or, oh shit, the camera wasn't recording. Can we do it again? <laughs> do you know how awkward that would be? Come on, I'll show you. But I saw you jump. Steve? How'd she get the costume? Like, these are professionally made and probably only one of a kind is made. Maybe a backup and just in case. They wouldn't be made one a smaller size, especially not in the time limit they had. How does she get this costume and how did no one notice with the height difference and the weight difference and every difference, part of them, that it wasn't Stevie? And like that timing, unless she was underneath the, he was underneath the costume too, there's no way that switch time could have happened. I'm sorry, this is just not logistic. Uh, come on, the first selfie. Cheese. Cheese. I'll probably swing home first. Do you think you'll come back to Pine Hollow? Comanche will miss you. <laughs> yeah, Comanche will. Only if you'll be here. <laughs> Max is in love. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, we finished episode eight. Uh, I will try to do more throughout the week, but I just can't right now. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, please do subscribe for more. There will be more coming. I'm planning to all the way to season three, I promise. But yeah, for the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time in the next video. Bye, Soul Clubbers.